Oh, hey friends, this is probably a video that none of you want me to really make because you don't want to know what the truth is because Sometimes small true true, different than the big true true. Man, Bitcoin mining or altcoin mining or just GPU mining in general kind of ruined a lot of people's lives for a while when it came to computer parts pricing and you combine that with the RAM price increases that were going crazy and it was costing you $1,000 to build a system with 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1060 at one point, which is just insane. But now with Bitcoin going all over the place and even hitting $13,000, I think we have to ask the dreaded question that a lot of you don't want the answer to, which is, is mining back? And we're gonna answer that after I briefly tell you that today's video is sponsored by Wix. Wix is an online platform that allows you to create professional websites, and we're gonna be talking more about them at the end of the video, but in case you wanna check them out now, links in the description, wix.com forward slash go forward slash UFD tech. Okay, friends, a little history lesson for you, for those who don't remember what life was like just a year and a half ago when mining was at its heyday. Bitcoin had just hit $19,000, and graphics cards were more profitable than ever. A GTX 1080 Ti was netting you somewhere in the region of about $10 per day, which if you multiply that by the month, that was about half the price of a 1080 Ti in the first place. It was free GPUs everywhere. And now we've come to the place where Bitcoin is getting close to that high again. Everything is kind of returning. $13,000 compared to $19,000 isn't that far off. And on top of that, there's been new coins coming out left, right, and center. There's even coins called weird things like Grim Cuckatoo. It's a strange life that we're living right now. And it looks like the bad days can be back. But before we get into GPU mining, I just wanna kinda of talk about Bitcoin mining because that actually does seem to be making a resurgence thanks to things such as process node development from TSMC. I, it's not just the Radeon Navi cards that are seeing shrinks down to seven nanometers. Bitmain has actually upgraded their amp miners to be on a seven nanometer protocol that hit somewhere in the regions of over 70 terahash per second when mining Bitcoin, which allows allows them to be incredibly profitable. If we take a look at the top of the range, which is Bitmain's S17 Pro, we find that at right now, with electricity costs taken into consideration, you would be making about $5,600 per year on the S17 Pro. And considering Bitmain is selling it for $1,878, you're actually making a pretty decent profit per thing when you buy them. So it actually does seem like ASIC miners are pretty much back in demand at this point, bringing a lot of money not only thanks to the efficiency increase that you'll get on a seven nanometer process, but also just the power efficiency that you're gonna get. It's the, the new S17s are mining way faster than anything that was out last year, and it doesn't seem like the price has gone up all that much, and the power consumption's not terrible either. But that is not why you guys are here. You wanna know about GPU mining, and whether or not the world's gonna end yet again. Oh, no, 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 it's all red! Bitcoin is down! Cryptocurrency is over! <laughs> And we're gonna see spikes on GPUs that mean that Vega is gonna sell at like $800 again. And let's just go ahead and take a look. If we just go to some general websites like what to mine or even NiceHash, which has a decent profitability calculator, what we find is that GPU mining is actually profitable right now, but not to the tune that you would actually expect. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Radeon 7, which is gonna be AMD's best performer. 16 gigabytes of HBM2 means that you're mining things like Monero with incredible frequency. And right now what we find is that the profitability is about 80 cents to about $1.20 per day on a $700 car that AMD just discontinued because it's way too expensive. That's 700 days to pay off. That is insane, nowhere near worth it. But then let's take a look at what's actually a more profitable card, which is the RTX 2080 Ti. What we find here is that we're getting about $1.43 per day on a $1,200 card, which would take, again, way too freaking long to pay off, or a $1,000 card, depending on where you buy. It's still not relatively actually all that great. Then let's look at one of the most popular GPUs that has existed recently, the GTX 1060. 18 cents per day. Again, all of this is after electricity costs, but 18 cents per day and you're trying to pay off a, what are you gonna buy this for, $150 right now? You're not, you're not paying this thing off ever. And then let's take a look at Vega 56, which was again, one of the most popular ones out on the market. Not that much better. 
18 to 25 cents per day. You get a quarter for your mining efforts. Here, here's a quarter, kid. 25 cents, Reese. Terrible. It's a $280 card, 25 cents per day. It's four days per dollar. This is insane. None of, none of this is relevant. And actually, one of the things that we're finding, if we just look at the profitability charts, is that it's actually getting less profitable over the last month in order to be mining with GPUs. It's not something that's actually seeing that much of a resurgence. If you wanted to mine properly, you probably would have been better off back in the May to June timeframe. But now it seems like more people are probably actually trying to get in on it now that cryptocurrency prices are rising. And this, actually isn't all of that of a great idea even still. And it's not just on one card. What we see is that across all of the GPUs that I've mentioned, as well as most of the other ones, you're seeing a decrease in profitability over the last month, even though cryptocurrency prices have been going up and hitting all year to date highs, not like all time highs, but they're hitting relatively really good highs and it's still not worth it in any extent whatsoever. If you've already had these cards, sure, you could be using them for some mining, but the profitability still isn't there like it was a year and a half ago. So you're not seeing all of that much of a resurgence of GPU mining. So it doesn't look like the risk of being out of stock due to miners is gonna be something that's gonna happen anytime soon. Things can obviously change quickly in the crypto market and in a few months, it might be ridiculously profitable because a new coin comes out or somebody changes an algorithm so that like Navi is doing tremendously well. But at this point, none of that's happening. And speaking specifically about Navi, the RX 5700 and 5700 XT, at least at the time of recording, are mining like absolute trash because none of the miners are actually working properly with the new RDNA architecture. So it's not even a great investment at this point. However, it could just be like it was with Vega where people discovered, hey, if you just kind of enable high bandwidth cash controller and then you mine Monero, you're gonna get ridiculously good rates on, on Vega 56. But it doesn't seem like we have any discovery like that for now. And it doesn't look like there's been any advancements in trying to mine on the tensor cores that exist in RTX cards. And so you're just kind of brute strengthening everything that you're still doing with CUDA cores. And so there's still a lot of development that could be made in the crypto mining scheme of things, which is developing for the new architectures that are out, but it doesn't seem like that's currently happening. And if you want to mine at this point, it does look like ASICs is the best way to go. And that GPU mining is still down for the count and kind of dead. And I'm going to piss off all the miners by saying that. And if you want to just look below in the comments, all of my GPU friends, you'll see that uh, I'm, I'm dead wrong in how GPU mining is super profitable. Like that one dude who confronted me at Computex, who was working for a computer brand that will rename nameless. And he like just got in my face and he was like, no mining is super profitable. There goes the 2080 Ti. Let's just move that off to the side. So don't worry, my friends. GPU mining doesn't look like it's gonna be back for any time soon. You can still hold on to your precious GPUs. You should still be able to get Navi cards for $350. Everything should still be right with the world. And speaking of being right with the world, let's go ahead and talk about today's video sponsor, which is Wix, my friends. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, they are a website that will help you to make professional websites for whatever you're trying to do, whether or not you're trying to start a new business and you wanna start a marketplace. It's gonna be easy to go into their drag and drop editor and start things up and get your stuff selling and making it look good and professional for them. Or like for us at UFD Media, we're building a website for our company to kind of represent everything that we're about, represent who we are, every individual person like Reese, or anybody else and just kind of creating a company profile. Wix's website editor makes it so that you can create something that everybody's gonna enjoy and it's gonna make your company, your business, or even your portfolio look really good. Wix has all of the features that you would expect, drag and drop editors, resizing, templates, everything that you could possibly want when you're creating your website. You can bring your own domain for your website and you can send your website live really quickly by just hitting the publish button. It is all there for you to make sure that you're representing everything that you want on the internet in the best way possible, in the professional way possible, with all of the tools at your disposal. Create your own website today by going to wix.com forward slash go forward slash UFD tech. Link for that is in the description. Check them out and get it started today. And that's where I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna start, stop starting this one because this was a weird one to make. It's something that I've been personally wondering, is GPU mining back and it doesn't look like it. If you have a miner, it's still technically profitable but it doesn't mean that you should be going out and buying GPUs for mining at this point. So don't worry, my friends, you're safe.
That's it for this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. You've just been informed about the delay of the apocalypse. And I'll see your smiling face again in the next video. Love you too. Bye.